Hello. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning to our honorable judges. And we are welcoming you from Indonesia. And today, we would like to present about Cikarang Dry Pot, a solution of logistic problem in Indonesia, and our proposed innovation is Indonesia Truck Machine. Wait. But before we start, we would like to introduce ourselves. First, my name is Rani Amelia, and these are my beautiful partner, Ms. Mediana Juniarti and Ms. Rianti Setiawati. And today's presentation will be divided into four sections. The first one is the in Indonesia current situation, followed by Cikarang Dry Pot in Indonesia, and the proposed innovation, and the last one is the conclusion. Let's move to the first presentation. Sorry. Indonesia is a large developing country in Southern Asia. In Southern Asia, Indonesia with 6% GDP growth, and in Indonesia itself, there is 242.3 million of population, and about 60% of the population are living in Java Island. In Java Island itself, there is a city named Jakarta. Jakarta is the main city that accommodated a whole activities in Indonesia. In Jakarta itself, there is a port named Tanjung Priuk. Tanjung Priuk accommodated 60 up to 70% export import activity. And with this flow, we can see this is the Indonesia geography, and we can see this is the Java Island and the Jakarta inside. And we can see from this chart, the Java and the Jakarta Island is a high, high number of flow of goods and population, goods population. From the condition that I have mentioned before, there are three problems happen. The first one, seaport limited capacity and dwelling time, followed by inadequate infrastructure, and also this uncertainty on lead time and cost. Let's move to the first problems. Seaport limited capacity and dwelling time. Indonesia has, I, I, I already mentioned before, Indonesia has Tanjung Priok as the main port, and in Indonesia itself, in the year 2012-2013, uh, the number of trucks capacity increasing by 26%, it costs 8 million TU in Tanjung Priok. But in fact, Tanjung Priok only can afford 7 million TU. And of course, relative to the fact, the dwelling time in Tanjung Priok, it becomes 6.4 up to 8.6 days. It's really, really long time. And related to the second problem, Second problem, inadequate infrastructure. With the graph that I have mentioned before, the high population of goods, the high moving, the flow of goods, the uh, road as the infrastructure, the major infrastructure in Indonesia, it's, sorry, it cannot be. Okay, 4,000, 4,500 up to 6,000 number of trucks a day will, will cause 10 million kilometer traffic jam. It's really bad because this is uh, because of the inadequate infrastructure. And third, related to the first problem, uh, let me give you an illustration. With the high uh, flow of goods, the high goods population, for example, the industry in Cikarang area, there the industry itself have a lead time for one up to three days. This is the uh, manufacturing, and because of the problems happen, like the limited uh, capacity in Sipor, the traffic jam, it will cause the actual lead time become four, five, up to seven days. It will become uh, for the company, it's really hard to maintain the cost of production and operation since it will become the burden for the company to pay more costs for the transportation, the fuel, overtime, and the employee. And next, for solve the, this problem, we will move to Chikaran Dry Pot is a, as a solution with, with this problem, and it will be presented by my partners, Ms. Rianti Setiawati. Well, I would like to present about the Chikaran Dry Pot in Indonesia as the solutions of the supply chain problems in Indonesia that already explained by my friends before. And finally, the governments of Indonesia pointed a private company named Inland Port Cikarang uh, to form a new inland port as the extensions of the existing port in Indonesia, that's the Tanjung Priuk Port. And Tanjung Priuk Port is already operated actively for domestic and international activities. And this one is Cikarang Dry Port. It's an integrated port with logistic facility. As you can see at this picture, there are uh, several facilities like railway emplacement, custom and quarantine, ele electronic seal, and the other like container yard. 
and they bring this concept especially for the industrial estate because the locations let we see the locations well the locations of Cikarang dry port that's in Indonesia and especially at Java Island and as you can see that that's Tanjung Priuk port at Jakarta that's the capital city of Indonesia and the highest percentage of the Tanjung Priuk port activities logistic is come from to the east that's Cikarang dry port area it's industrial estate surrounded by 12 industry with 30,000 30, com manufacturing company and the distance between Tanjung Priuk port and Cikarang dry port is 50 kilometers and how Cikarang dry port solves the problems and first problem talk about the seaport limited capacity and dwelling time and Cikarang dry port over one stop integrated services means they provide the custom and quarantine supported by the storage and services and also supported by the international security and safety standard and the wall capacity of Cikarang dry port is around 2 million 20 foot equivalent units it's around 2 hectares and they also provide the international and domestic services and they also invited the shipping company to establish in its area because it will make the manufacturing company easier to run their activities and like what I mentioned before that Chikaran dry port as the extensions of the existing seaport in Indonesia that's Tanjung Priuk port means that the container from the outside that come from come to the Tanjung Priuk and they have a closer destinations to, to Tanjung Priuk they will uh, loaded directly to the truck or train and go to Cikarang dry port and it means there is no time for the container to sit for the uh, clearance process in Jakarta it, at Tanjung Priuk port so it's really effective to decreasing the dwelling time and next problem is talking about the uncertainty on lead time and cost Well, basically, this port has several value edits like certainty, traceability, and also the profitability. Well, for the certainty, they provide the multimodal bill of lading, so they um, make the customer predict the lead time and also the cost easily because the overbranching and also uh, uh, for the penalty in import activity and for the export activity, they provide uh, to make the customer easier to know the closing time and the other point talking about the profitability so uh, means like managing the inventory so the customer will do directly tracking to through the website of Cikarang dry port they just put the number multimodal bill of lading and they will know the current positions of the of this good and the third problem is talking about the infrastructures inadequate infrastructures in Indonesia and as you know that Cikarang dry port is a national project means the governments would like to support this project and governments already uh, make the railway emplacement as the facility to support these logistic terms and also build the highway that's the tall new exit to Cikarang dry port so it's dedicated for cargo it's really effective to decreasing the dwelling time and also Cikarang dry port provide the container yard with some facilities like the empty depot river and also provide the fellow added like the traceability so they use the technology to uh, monitor and security the product that's the electronic seal and the next part will continue by my partner for explain the proposed innovations. So here come my part. So actually, this is the innovation that we are going to apply in Indonesia. Actually, this is very new in Indonesia, but maybe it's already happened before in the other country. But it is already the, uh, it is. We would like to done it in Indonesia because there is an opportunity for this innovation. So this is our innovation, Indonesia truck matching website. So we are going to apply this innovation without industrial area within Eastern Jakarta that is related to the Cikarang Triport area. We, where is the biggest uh, industrial movement happen in Java Island? Well, 
So what is actually Indonesia track matching? So Indonesia track matching website means we create the, an opportunity for the tracking company and also the company itself as the track user through a technology utilization in one community. We are making sure that all of the flow information between the truck user and the truck provider can be flow well because of this establishment of the website. So let me tell you actually what happened before the establishment of Chikarang Report and after the establishment of Chikarang Report. Looking at this, this is before the establishment of inland port in Indonesia that first the trucking company working from the seaport to the industrial area. So they take around 50 kilometers. In two way, they, they have 100 kilometers. Well, the number of the trip utilization is one trip a day. Well, after the establishment of Chikarang Dry Port, because from the seaport until Chikarang Dry Port, these things already become the responsibility of the shipping line. So the trucking company in Indonesia only working from this site, Chikarang Dry Port, to industrial area, which is officially closer. That is only around 30 kilometers for two ways. Yes, they have two trips a day. It's improved for one to two trip. But let's see this thing. Let's see this thing. So before, they are working 100 kilometers, but after, they only work 60 kilometers. The things that I'm going to show you in here, there is remaining 40 kilometer capacity of the truck, which is not used. And we think if you utilize this 40 kilometer, you will get more money. So the thing is, how to use the remaining capacity is to get more customer. The question how to get more customer is by maintaining your better information system. And to answer this better in information system, we create the system that technology utilization, utilization through Indonesia truck matching website. So this is the mechanism. So the first, the truck provider we're uploading the availability to the in, to the website. So the truck provider, the trucking company will entering the information that, hey, I'm looking for this customer at this time, at this date, and I am able for this capacity. So after that, the truck user, when they are need a truck, they just need to come to the website to do a matching process. So they find the list of the truck that is available and they find the truck and after they match, they make a transaction. And after they make a transaction, the website will deliver to information to the truck provider that, hi, what is you looking, you, you already got what, what is you're looking for, your customer. They, do, they already do a transaction in the website and this is your customer details. So we are trying to create the prototype of the website, which is actually consists of three main parts. Like I've told you before, truck provider, matching, and transaction. Well, for the truck prov provider, first the, things, the first thing that they are going to do is they're uploading their availability. They should fill up these details. After that, the truck user will be come to the website and do the matching process. Finding the right truck that they are going to use at the right time and the, and the right depth and the right capacity that they can provide. And after that, when they are going to make a transaction, they should fill up this form. And once they submit it, so the information will be delivered to the trucking company. So here is the benefit that can offer by the Indonesia truck matching website. First is the financial benefit. Second is the certainty for the company. And the last is the value added for Chikarang Dry Port itself. And the first is the cost. I already shown you this, this picture before, but let's get in closer to the cost. So before, it cost 150, 150 US dollar per trip. Now it's cost 75 US dollar per trip. So looking at as the cost, remember that every single cost that I mentioned in here is the income for the trucking company. So the cost will be like this. Actually, before and after establishment of Chikarang Report, they have more, uh, they have the same income. But what I've told you before, there are still remaining capacity, 40 kilometers that they can able to utilize to get more customer. So after they, they apply the ITM website, let's see that they, they can add one more trip a day. So they have three trip, three trip a day. So the cost will be like this. So looking at this number, see that they are different 75 US dollar before they're applying ITM and after they applying ITM website. So we can say that it's mean they gain 50% more each day. They get 75 US dollar more. So 
The second is easier access or certainty for the company. This is actually what happened when industry looking for a truck. They, hey, I need a truck this afternoon, for example. So they come to the website and they got it and the transaction happened. The things that I'm going to told you that I believe in the company, every single, uh, every single delay or every single postponing activities is calculating as the cost. When they, when they have this kind of system, they can make sure that every single thing, in the, or in, a, in the other word, they have a certainty. Means that well, once they got a truck, they can get it through this website. Because of what? Because actually there is a very big flow of information with this, this industrial area. There is a demand and also the, there is a logistic infrastructure in this area. So what, if, what I'm trying to tell you, once they have uncertainty in that company, it will affect the cost of delivery and finally it will affect the cost of goods itself. So these kind of things that we are going to maintain by saying that once you apply the ITM website, you can get more certainty or you can maintain the stability of the cost of delivery of the goods. Well, this is the last benefic benefit for Chikarang Dry Port. We believe that once you apply this thing, this Chikarang Dry Port will be a very interesting place for the, tr for the trucking company. Why? Because they can get more money, simply, right? So a lot of trucking company will come to Chikarang Dry Port. And what will happen to Chikarang Dry Port? It's also become a more interesting place for the customer because customer looking at this place with a certain condition, with a condition that they are able to predict. So it, it will result in the more customer to the Chikarang Dry Port and it, it will make Chikarang Dry Port get more income. So this is actually the further implication that we, that we predicted if it is success. I, this is important for me to tell you that this is the condition of truck in Indonesia. Mostly, they use an old truck because of less people is willing to invest in this area. Because people see this as the less profitable business. So once we apply ITM website, they are looking at the beneficial that, hey, I can get 75 US dollar more a day. So we predict that the very implication that will happen. So, so looking at this, a better truck means that maybe we believe that uh, after, this, uh, after we apply this, a better truck will be provided in Indonesia. I've told you that actually a lot of accidents happen in Indonesia with the truck because of what? Because of the old truck. Because actually uh, they, are not, they are not good enough to deliver the goods. So we think that once they apply this ITM website, the, the trucking sector in Indonesia will be improved because more people will be invest in this profitable business. So, this is our conclusion. So actually, like we have told you before, Chikarang Dry Port as the solution of logistic business in Indonesia because it's able to provide this for and a lot of potential things that need to be improved in Indonesia. Once one of them is by apply, applying ITM website that we already told you. So this is the end. Thank you very much. We'll now move on to the question and answer session. Any questions? Thank you for your presentation. Very interesting to see that you are applying some concept of uh, last mile delivery into Indonesia. Uh, in your introduction, you mentioned that one of the key challenge for the current situation is uh, jam, right? Yeah. Um, now, uh, on paper, yes, you have more kilometer by having the Sikarang uh, um, dry port, uh, but is the infrastructure able to manage more truck traffic? So the things that we need to told you that Chikarang dry port is a really established industrial area. That's why we told you that actually there is a demand and there is the infrastructure because it's already established before. The thing that happened in before because the, the main problem in Indonesia is happening in Jakarta, the capital city. So once they deliver the goods from Chikarang Dry Port to the industrial area, they get the traffic in the Jak Jakarta area. Well, Chikarang is after Jakarta. So we believe that it will be, the flow of goods will be better because, because there is an infrastructure and there is also the, they, they are trying to keep improving these things. That's why they established Chikarang Dry Port also that because they want to make the flow of goods is better because they know that it is really for the industrial area. That is the place of industry.
And for the infrastructure itself, the Chikaran Drive Port now uh, they are um, built a highway directly to Chikaran Drive Port. So it, it will reduce the traffic jam problem since uh, Chikarang is uh, consists of 60 60 percent of industrial area. So it can be directly goes to uh, goes to Chikarang the industry. Um, well done. Anything that reduces congestion in Jakarta has got to be good, right? Good for the people, good for the city, good for the environment. Um, a question for you uh, about saving the truck. So I think it was 50% uh, additional revenue opportunity for the truck, uh, tr uh, truck company or to each truck. Um, is there enough demand to use up all that additional capacity? Or is there an opportunity to remove some of the trucks from the system and therefore reduce overall truck miles and congestion and emissions and stuff? If you free up that much capacity by having Chikarang Dry Port, is there enough other demand for cargo trucking to utilize it? Actually, if we apply these things, we believe that Actually, we are going to utilize the existing capacity of the truck. We are quite, uh, quite hard to determine actually how is the capacity of the truck. That's why we take the trip of the, from seaport to industrial area 100 kilometers as the basis. And actually, we, we, put, uh, we take 30 kilometers, but it is possible to improve more. Means that it is not always 15 kilometers from one industrial area to another industrial area. So it is possible for them to util utilize all 40 kilometers. But if we are going to talk about it, a lot of possibilities that will be appear. So we just assume that they get one more trip. So that's how we picture it that they get more money. So again, um, good presentation, but I think you were rushing. It was too fast. I was trying to catch up with you. Oh, 15 um, minutes, sir. Uh, so, so just, just take, a, take a breather sometimes to put a point across. I know you have too many words you want to say in one sentence, but just, just slow it down, okay? That's one. Second is you didn't show. Uh, there's something that I was missing because your, your preposition was from the port to the dry port. All right. Someone has to take the cost, and you said the, the government, someone absorbed that cost because that suddenly went away. All right. You, you, you have the dry port in the middle. So from the main port to the dry port, who absorbed that cost? And I, I think you said something like the government or something like that, right? So that cost has to be taken into consideration because we only see the second part of it. The first part was missing and suddenly, obviously, right, when you have the first part missing, there will always be dollar safe. So that's the first command. Second command is when you have a consolidation of truckers in a centralized uh, area. So I'm thinking more aloud like the taxi system we have, where you go into a, you call a, a control and you said, I want a taxi. And the control sort of said, okay, so and so taxi will go to your place tomorrow. And if you do an advanced booking, or if you want it now. Now, with that, it means pricing then is control, right? Because then who determines the price? So the consumer, the shippers now who wants to engage this service will then need to understand what are the pricing mechanism that this central house controls. How do I pay for this and, and what are the pricing system? I think this is something that needs to be addressed when you have a control system like that when all players are in one house the pricing becomes a de it could be a value to the trucking companies but it could be a devalue for the shippers because i'm sure over time the price will raise because it's a con you guys start controlling that piece of it so for the responsibility from the seaport to the chikarong dry port Actually, it is already become the responsibility of the shipping line. So once they deliver the, for example, they deliver it from China, they directly destination is IDGBK. That is the the port code for the Chikarang Triport. So all they they use a multimodal transportation, but what their destination is directly Chikarang Triport. So even they use the truck from seaport to the Chikarang Triport, it is not become the responsibility of 
the remaining truck that I've explained to you because it's become the responsibility of the shipping line that they use. And for the price itself, uh, our concept is like a community. So the price is like the company just put the availability and also the price and if the customer agree with the time, place and also the price and they can access it. So it is like a virtual place to meet them, th th these two parties. Uh, okay, thank you.